My dear brothers and sisters, in today's gospel we experience the multiplication of the loaves from five loaves and two fish. Thousands of people ate. In fact, they ate and were satisfied. That is really amazing. What the Lord can do with so little. That is amazing. What the Lord can do through you and me. At every single mass, we are all fed in many numbers. How amazing are these words. Take this, all of you, and eat it. This is my body which will be given up for you. All oh, these words, through him, with him, in him. What the Lord can do through one priest. Now, if he were only holy. Saint, Saint John Vian was deeply moved during midnight mass as he held the consecrated host over the chalice. Tears ran down his face, alternating with a smile. He held it for a long time as the hymn took forever to be completed. The choir director apologized for the delay, but St. John Vian said, oh, I did, I did not find the time long. St. John Vianney was praying to Christ in the Eucharist. He said to him, if I knew that I should have the misfortune to be deprived of seeing you throughout eternity, now that I hold you in my hands, I should never let you go. Saint John Vianney loved Jesus with all his heart. That is true with life itself. If I knew that today would be my last, would I have the misfortune of facing fear or doom? Would I despair in the poor decisions I made? Would I wish for another chance? The Lord will give us all another chance. Today, my dear brothers and sisters, we must make it our constant desire to live a life to the full, to receive grace upon grace, to fill the void that has been given to us, we must love our neighbors as we love ourselves. This is what the Lord seeks from us all. To take us, to break us, and distribute us to others. What he did with the small scraps, he gathered them together. He wishes to do with us. He wishes to make us a temporary Eucharist for others. We need to go out and distribute ourselves so that many can receive us. We know that if we give ourselves to the Lord, he can divide and multiply it. We know that the Lord can do amazing things through us. Do we know that? Let us just try and see. God is just waiting for each one of us to say yes 
send me. We all know that the Lord is waiting with great anticipation for that day when we will lay down our lives and give it to him so that he can give it to others. We know that it takes faith, hope, and love. The Lord provides his grace. We only need to respond to the grace. The Lord has sent me to bring glad tidings to the poor and to proclaim liberty to the captives. Today, he demands even more to influence the lives of all the people we meet. I wish, I desire, I hunger to be a gift to others. With him, all things are possible. Nothing is ever wasted. What is the significance of this miracle? The miraculous feeding of such a great multitude pointed to God's provision of manna in the wilderness for the people of Israel under Moses' leadership. This food foreshadowed the true heavenly bread which Jesus would offer his followers, that is, you and me. Jesus makes a claim only to go to God can make. Is the true bread of heaven that can satisfy the deepest hunger we experience. We need to go to Jesus every minute of our life, and he will satisfy you and me. Amen. Thank you for joining us for the celebration of the Mass today. It's a blessing that you are with us. Every broadcast of this liturgy goes out to hundreds of people and hundreds of people all over the world. It's been an enormous blessing. If you'd like to support this virtual ministry of OLPH, please go to our website. You can support this ministry by going to Give Central so that we can continue to broadcast the liturgy each and every week. Thank you for your support. Most of all, thank you for joining us today. God bless you. Greetings from OLPH.